I'm Allison. I'm Bree. And I'm Riley. And now it's time for CHS Today. The Senior Parade will be May 29th at 11 in the morning. Students should meet in the Columbia parking lot by 1040 to line up. You may make signs and decorate your vehicles. Please make sure to include your name. You may ride with yourself or with someone else. Just please be cautious, drive with lights and flashers on, and yield to cross traffic if you pass through any red lights or stop signs. Students may bring candy to throw out. Prom is scheduled for May 8th at the Miller Building. The theme is under the stars and the prom colors are pink, blue, and purple. We plan to have a normal promenade, prom, and after prom, <coughs> but we will still rely on our county color codes and will follow mandated guidelines. There are still very few students who have signed up for summer school at CHS or online through Indian Online. If you are filling a class, you need to sign up. To sign up for our class at CHS, go to the link shown and sign up for Indian Online courses. Go to indianonline.org slash summer school. The academic team has a virtual home meet tomorrow. Report to the media center by 515 or let your coach know if you cannot compete. The Green Saudi and Green Middle East initiatives are currently planning the largest tree planting effort, aiming to plant 50 billion acres of trees across the Arab states, which is connected to efforts to more than double the size of the kingdom's protected areas. This, along with efforts to create a drive for green energy, would reduce the amount of global carbon emissions by 8% and domestic emissions by 60%. A Branson-backed company called Carbon Cure is combining concrete mixture with the carbon dioxide that is produced from factories, which both reduces carbon emissions and strengthens the material of concrete. While reducing production costs, private companies such as Amazon and Alibaba Group are investing into this project to help with funding and research. Carbon Cure is set to reduce the amount of carbon dioxide production by 50 megatons every year. On this day in history, the Battle of Fort Sumter began signaling what many believe to be the beginning of the Civil War. This battle began when Confederate forces opened fire on Union-held Fort Sumter. Two days later, when the fort was surrendered, President Lincoln called for 75,000 volunteer soldiers to stop the South insurrection. Lunch for tomorrow is biscuit and turkey sausage gravy with a sausage patty and scrambled eggs, with an option of a spicy chicken sandwich and a PB&J. It's kind of chilly. Here's Sarah with your weather. Thanks, guys. So as we head into this afternoon, it's going to be around 55 degrees and it's going to be cloudy. But as we head into this evening, we're going to see those temperatures increase. We're going to see more of that sun and it's going to be 64 degrees. And also into tomorrow, it's going to be around the same temperature. Like I said, today's going to be cloudy and tomorrow is going to be partly cloudy with the same temperature. But as we head into the rest of the week, into Wednesday, the temperature is going to start decreasing. And into Thursday, it's going to be around 55 degrees. But luckily, as we head into Friday, it's going to hit 61 degrees, and it's still going to be partly cloudy throughout all the week. That's all for the weather. Now back to the desk. Now over to Riley with the sports. Thanks, guys. Varsity softball played a doubleheader against Union County Friday night. In the first game, the Spartans stayed in till the end. Union County was able to pull away in the final inning and won 4-2. Sydney Dungan got, on, got the team on the board with a solo home run. Pitcher Shelby Wolski last four innings, allowing six hits and two runs, striking out four. In the game two, Paige Dunaway, Wolski, and Bailey Spurlock each collected a hit. Pitcher Kindred Conley lasted four innings, allowing seven hits, six runs, and striking out the final score was three to six. The girls are next in action tonight at home at 5.30. Varsity Baseball defeated Yorkstown Friday night three to two after taking the lead in the first inning. Defense was solid for the Spartans and runs were at premium. Caleb Sparks, Quentin Leisure, Gavin Pearson, and Cody Friend all took the mound for Connersville. The pitchers collectively struck out seven and Pearson took the victory on the mound allowing no runs and two hits. Cody Friend pitched in the seventh and got hits third got his third save of the season. Braxton Myers, Braden Likens, Gavin Lynch, and Gavin Jones each collected one hit and led the offense. 
Lynch's hit was a triple in deep right field. The Spartans are now three to one in, on the season and will travel to Franklin County tonight for a conference battle. The girls tennis team entered the, a victory at Shenandoah with a score of three to two. For varsity singles, Kirsten Ellis, Haley Baker and Morgan Daffler all won two sets. For the doubles, Riley Fuller and Cheryl Garrison fell in two sets while Gwyneth Kibbe and Bailey Wilson fell in three sets. For JV, Maddie Hogger and Katie Mitchell won, the mat won their matches while Sarah Coger and Morgan Kefaber fell for doubles. For doubles, Grace Kelly and Julia Poe won their match along with Aubrey Hunt and Aaliyah Williams. Great job, ladies. As they compete in their home opener tonight, here's a preview of varsity tennis. Um, this year is going to kind of be different because coming in, I haven't played varsity yet. And since we didn't get a season last year, I haven't really had that experience. And honestly, most of our team hasn't really had that experience. And as a senior, we're going to have to lead and motivate the team and help kind of guide the underclassmen and teach them some new things. This year is going to be a little bit different because I'm the only one returning with varsity experience. So everyone is kind of fresh and it gives us a fresh start. And even though not everybody has a bunch of experience, it'll be good to get new people in and gain experience throughout the season. We didn't get a season last year because of COVID, so I'm excited to play this year. Um, for this season, I've been preparing by just getting some extra practice in out of um, practice times and practicing on my serves and my volleys and just really working hard to be a better player for this year. I'm really excited since COVID got us out of last year. I'm just super excited to do my best this year. To help the underclassmen this year, I think it'll be good to do challenge matches uh, during during practices that way it's not as nerve-wracking when we get to a real match that way we've got that that feel of what a real match is like and get the nerves out during practice instead of being real nervous during match play I think that's a big thing for underclassmen and new people to learn we all get along well together but we also push each other and we have a good competitive drive because with tennis it's kind of different you have to play for your spot and earn it what motivates me during tennis is that we fight for our spots, and so there's always competition going on between the girls, even though we're all a team. Uh, <laughs> I can't stay still. Sports action for tonight is varsity softball at home starting at 5.30. JV, JV baseball at home starting at home at 6. The varsity baseball at Franklin County at 5.30. That's all for sports. Now back to the desk with birthdays. Today's only birthday is Alexis Briscoe. Birthdays for tomorrow are Addison Gettinger, Lennon Links, and Carmen Parrish. Happy birthday. It's Monday. I'm tired. And that's all for CHS Today.